Ngayon, daming mga langgam. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Mga langgam ko! Oh! Ay, nako! They escaped! Oh my gosh, they're all over the place! I got, oh! Oh no, okay. I was moving some ants into my tank here, into this tank here, and now they're all over the place. They managed to escape and pass the barrier I put. Oh no, okay. I, I gotta vacuum it. I've gotta vacuum them. That's the only way. I usually never have escapes, but the one or two times that I do have an escape, I use the vacuum. I gotta vacuum them now. And then I stick the ants back into the their setup. <gasps> oh no! So they can't live in this tank then, uh, if they can escape. Oh no, I was totally supposed to film this for my Ants Canada video. Alright guys, I'll be back. Yeah, no problem, my boy Spud. We're here and the driver wants to take pictures. What's your name? Terrence. Terrence. Okay, yeah, because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Yay! Thank you, Pa. Good morning, my boy squad. I'm also here with Ate Elsie. <laughs> Yay! Also here with RJ. Mm -hmm. Man, so can we talk about yesterday's vlog? <laughs> Tagalog. So hard to speak in Tagalog. Super mahira. Pero, I'm glad you guys liked it. Glad you guys had a laugh at my deficiency. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Pero, you know, I love being able to at least chatter in Tagalog like here and there because I mean by DNA I'm Filipino and not being able to speak the language of my parents and my ancestors which actually by the way technically is Kapampangan and Ilocano and Ibanag but that's another story the language of my family's ancestry and nation that's a travesty that's a tragedy if I go life without being able to speak it right and for those of you who are Filipino, like you're brought up abroad and you don't speak Filipino, I, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but for me, it's a travesty not being able to speak Tagalog, especially because they call me Pinoy boy <laughs> on YouTube, right? So anyways, speaking of Tagalog and Filipino, we are going now to one of the most famous marketplaces in the Philippines. And we've taken you there before, but we mostly did the inside. It was a place called 168. Mm -hmm. But now we're going to the outside of this market and it's so cool. You can buy so many things. Um, and we're gonna try to bargain. I'm gonna try to bargain. Let's see the bargaining well, skills of Mikey. Well, okay, but let's also consider the fact that usually when I'm there, one, they already know I'm not fluent in Tagalog. They know I'm from abroad. So they charge me foreigner price, tourist price, which is higher. And second of all, they, a lot of them already know me. So they'll automatically, deep by default, <laughs> charge higher. <laughs> so if I am, am not able to get good deals, I'll just let RJ or even at the LC make tawad, as they call it, which is bargaining in Filipino. This should be fun, my boy squad. Ooh. Beautiful day here in Manila. Mm hmm. See? See that? I love Manila mornings. They're always so like busy and eventful. And speaking of eventful, we've got some events coming up. Very important and exciting stuff. Okay, so let's go over it. The first one is what? Singapore show. We have a concert coming up in Singapore. So my boy squad in Singapore. This yeah. is for you. Yeah, that's on September 10. Sunday 2 p.m. at Kalang Theater and for tickets you can check it on Mikey Busta's event page on, the, on his Facebook. Yes, it's an afternoon show. Wow, that's gonna be so fun. Um, and of course, there will be a meet and greet too at that show. So come, we'll sell CDs too, we can take selfies, all of that. You guys will appear in the vlogs. Come, come, come. Um, then next, we're going to the gorgeous, gorgeous Paradise Island of Palau. I'm excited for that too. That's mm -hmm. on September 16, 7 p.m. Venue is at Nara Chamayung Cultural Center. And for tickets, it's available at Raw Surf and Dive Shop, second floor of Syringal Super Center. All of them are boys squad in Singapore and Palau. If you have relatives and friends in Singapore and Palau, just let them know, attack them that Mikey is coming. Yeah, and we'll put links in the description box uh, regarding all of that. So you guys can remember and write it down. Ooh, can't wait to go there. <gasps> 
First of all, guys, Singapore, gorgeous city, gorgeous. I think I've been there like three or four times. It's amazing. <laughs> just one of those cities you guys need to see um, and then Palau never been there RJ's never been there it's kind of it's in the Marianas which is like where Guam is and you know how much I love Guam my boy squad in Guam half a day um, but Palau is another island in like that cluster of I guess islands out in the Pacific and people in Guam go there to vacation like <laughs> That's how beautiful it is. So we'll see. I can't wait. Can't wait to take you guys there, my boy squad. Yee! All right, here we are. So when I come to Divisoria or a marketplace like this, it's always helpful to kind of dress down. <laughs> like you don't want to come to this place dressed in a suit or like nice clothing because then the vendors will see that you have money and then they'll charge you a super high price so you know shorts t-shirt that's good enough flip-flops or whatever that is all appropriate clothing for divisoria this marketplace you basically have to role play <laughs> you gotta look like you can't afford even if you can we're here early in the morning so we're before all the crazy chaos even though it's already pretty chaotic here so before you go in they've got food vendors you see that mmm yum so you can eat before you shop adobo, yeah. adobo. adobo. pork pork adobo mmm so good it's all fresh homemade yum there's nothing like homemade filipino food Mm -hmm. More vendors, you see? Lots of vendors here. Snacks, food. Look at all of these underwear. See? <laughs> oh, Von Dutch. Well, imitations. <laughs> They're all imitations. Three for a hundred pesos. Wow. Umbrellas, coat hangers, pillows. Ooh, raincoats. Love it. The thing I love about Divisoria and Asian markets in general is that you find like there's a lot of imitation stuff but you will find a lot of hidden treasures in various places if you look hard enough and a lot of times I'll find stuff in Canada or USA or you know out in the West and I'll be like hey I've seen this in Divisoria <laughs> And it's a lot cheaper too here in Divisoria or in these Asian markets. And it's cheaper because they're selling it at pretty much close to manufacturing price. A lot of these people are also the manufacturers of these things. So you get pretty good prices on all the stuff they sell at marketplaces like this in Divisoria. So every time we travel to a country in Asia, we try to visit their marketplace because you know, you'll find all of these amazing treasures which are cheap. Those stores and vendors abroad buy this stuff and then sell it to you guys for like five, ten times the price. <laughs> we got belts, SD cards, see? But you have to be prepared to get a little dirty, see? It's kind of muddy and there are puddles everywhere, just rained. Another reason not to wear your nicest clothes. <laughs> Suitcases, see that? Awesome. Jack hello, hello, Paul. Hello. Hi, sir. Hello, hello friend. Hello. Hi. Hi we got lots of friends here. Hello, Paul. We got mothballs, more watches, jeans, lots of bags. See, bags, bags. And what's great is you can get all of this at bulk price. Like you can buy tons of them, and they can produce like thousands of units for you if you need. <laughs> Like, see this? You need fans? Let's say you like this. Okay, right there. Let's say you need a fan. You want 2,000 of these, they can make them for you. And you can get them at a good price. Okay, we have some friends here. Anong pangalan nyo? Hi, I'm Tess. Hi, I'm Lapo. Yay. Hi, CBB girl. Yee and because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Yay. Oh, Yay. thank you. Salamat. Bye-bye. Happy shopping. See, we got socks, tape, and I love buying sunglasses here in Divisoria. A lot of you guys keep asking me, oh, what brand of sunglasses are you wearing? Are they D&G? Are they LV? And I'm like, yeah, they're D&G. Divisoria and Green Hills. I buy all of my sunglasses pretty much from Divisoria. I rarely get shades, you know, 
that are the actual expensive brand. Not because I'm against that, but it's just I, I feel like I would lose shades and break them easily. I know me. See, lots of nice shades here. These ones, of course, are vintage though. I have to take care of them. They were my dad's from the 70s. RJ's recommending these. Mmm, they're okay. Harry Potter. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> I look like a bookworm. Kuya on the motorcycle. We have shorts here. See that? I wonder if they sell Speedos. <laughs> we got hats. See all these hats? Hats that you would find at like, I don't know, Urban Outfitters in Canada. <laughs> You can buy them for like two dollars, whereas in Canada they would cost like 20 bucks or more. More belt. Oh wow, look at these shades. Oh, it's starting to get busy here in Divisoria. Let's see, RJ. Um, I'm not sure about that rib. Want fake tattoos? They can give them to you. Ooh, he's bringing out the stock. Look at all that. Look at all these clothes. Seeing you just dig through. You dig through and find what you want. Lahat ng klase, 50 pesos. Sale. Everything for 50 pesos. Wow. All types of clothes, 50 pesos, guys. Basically, all of these are one US dollar. Yeah, all these clothes here, one US dollar. This, one US dollar. And RJ says they're good quality. Fidget spinners, sweet. Wow, 20 pesos. Now it's always helpful if you don't speak Tagalog or if you're white, <laughs> if you're a Caucasian, to go with someone who's a local because forget it, they will charge you tourist price. They'll like double or triple the price. But you know what, in fairness, there are some vendors who are honest here. And you know, they will be fair, charge everyone the same price, but those vendors aren't so common. Ooh, pancakes. <gasps> they smell so good. But there's no maple syrup. Maple syrup is more of a North American thing, right? Yeah, yeah. On pancakes? Here we put butter or it, margarine plus sugar. Sugar and margarine and butter. <laughs> Interesting. Ooh, sexy shorts. Children's dresses for a dollar, guys. Wow. See that? See all of these shirts, these novelty shirts? Tell me you guys haven't gone to a store in the US or Canada somewhere and like paid $20 for one of these, right? Here, a dollar, a dollar. We got sandals people for cheap, look it. All right, we got wigs guys. So you know all of the wigs that we use in our videos? Yeah. Cause we're social apps for life, baby. I just get them here <laughs> for cheap. Hello, we'd like to try on some wigs. Wow, RJ's gonna try a wig. Go, let's see. Oh my, here we go. You try too. I will, but I wanna see you first. People always see me in wigs. Oh my. <laughs> show them, show them the ma'ong. <laughs> wow. Do I look Asian now? Or do I look American now? No, you look... I don't know what the word is. It's odd. Ew. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm, I want to go blonde today. Watch this. This is how you wear a wig. I miss having hair, actually. Oh. <laughs> All right, I got bangs. Okay. All right, just got to fix, fix, fix. Put the glasses on. See? This is how you wear hair. <laughs> Who is wearing the wig better? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I look ugly. <laughs> so fun. Oh, Halloween is coming up actually. Maybe I should buy a costume here. Ew. Ew. <laughs> that actually looks like real hair. RJ apparently thinks this will be good for our videos. So we're gonna get it. Michelle, I have no hair for you. <laughs> you look like a hippie, RJ. You look like <laughs> someone from the, a rocker from the 90s. <laughs> gonna try one more, my boy squad. Short hair this time. Mas bagay to. Hmm. 
Parang Joy De Leon back in the day. <laughs> right? Yeah. Alright. I just want to go around the Vasoria like this. And it feels like real hair. And this wig is only $3. Three! Oh, you know who I look like? That guy from Sh Scooby Doo. Shaggy. <laughs> Okay, this. It's 350. Okay, please. 100, please. 200. 200. 200. We got this wig for $2.5. Alright. Guys, $2.50 for this wig. And it's like good quality. It feels and looks real. Oh, I wish I could wear this all day. I'm gonna put it in the bag. Oh my gosh. Puppies. I forgot to say they sell puppies here, guys. Oh, and it's so sad. They're just caged up here. And they're all from puppies. It is so sad. Hey guys, you guys are so cute. Oh. And there's no sense asking what breed they are because they'll just lie to you. <laughs> I find like sometimes I'll come here, I'll ask what breed this dog is, and then they'll tell me, oh, it's half lab, half Doberman, right? And then I'll leave and then come back the same day, like a couple hours later, and ask, and then it'll be a different breed. <laughs> Like they, they just kind of lie. These dogs don't come with papers. They don't come with any of that. Ow, ow, you're biting me. You're so cute, but you're a biter. Holy, look at all of this calamansi. Calamansi is like a really small citrus fruit. Very, very sour. Um, and it's used to flavor a lot of Filipino food, actually. Holy, look at that block of ice. Oh, more puppies. Oh, so cute. Oh, These puppies are so adorable. Look at how many there are stuffed in this little cage. So sad. Oh, they're all so cute. Of course, everywhere you can find movies. A lot of them are, well, all of them are bootlegged. And you should always ask before buying a movie because sometimes they're literally filmed from a cell phone. Someone in a theater holding a cell phone. <laughs> We have friends here. Anong pangalan mo? Rap Rap. Rap Rap. Yay. Ano yan? Pamelo. Ooh, Pamelo, guys. Mm. So, Pamelo is basically, it reminds me of grapefruit. It's the closest thing we have to grapefruit here in the Philippines. And it gets pretty big, see? It even grows bigger than this. But it's pretty tasty. Ooh, guys. You know what this fruit is? It's called Rambutan. Rambutan. Yes, rambutan. It's really tasty. If you've never seen it before, it kind of looks scary. But when you open this, there's this white fruit inside and it's so yummy. It's kind of like lychee a little bit. There's also a pit inside like lychee. Um, but it's so yummy. And guys, it's full of ants. See? See those ants? That's Nylandaria ants. Awesome. Uh, they sell fresh corn. Mm. Ooh, check this out guys, chopping boards <gasps> and those things, those grindy things. We got stuffed toys here, see that? This is like a child's haven. <gasps> see? We got glass containers. Ooh, and check this out guys, my boy squad. You can get souvenirs here in Divisoria for cheap. Like see these? Look at how cool that is. Let's say you have a daughter and she has like a birthday. You can make thousands of these here for, for cheap. Super cheap. Wedding, souvenirs, they, they do it all. And they do it fast. Mmm, dragon fruit. See this, guys? This is so yummy. This grows locally. It's a fruit that actually grows from a cactus. It's really, really tasty. See, this is what the inside looks like. Very popular Asian fruit. They also have a variety where the inside is white. But it's so sweet and yummy.
So guys, these are cherries. Now, cherries are expensive here in the Philippines because they don't grow locally. So these are imported. See the price? 100 pesos. That's that's a lot actually for a fruit anyway. Oh wow, these are from US. They even have plums. Where are the plums from? Galing sa China. China. Okay, see. So the plums are from China. Mmm, look at all these fruits. Mmm. <gasps> yummy. Uh, <gasps> we got fresh coconut juice. Hey! Anong pangalan mo? Chris. Chris. Hi, Chris. Hello. We're meeting tons of friends here. Yes, yeah. champagne. Anong pangalan mo? Aileen Guevara. Say hi to Miguel. Miguel Guevara, how are you? Yes. Picture tayo. Picture tayo, because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, salamat. Bye. Love the love girl. Tatlo for 50. Yay! That was easy. She didn't even fight for that. All right. Wow, guys, we got all of this bok choy for 100 for pesos. $2. That's two dollars. <gasps> all right. All right, guys. So this section of Divisoria is a famous, I guess, street lane called Tabora. Mm -hmm. They sell all sorts of stuff here. Balloons for parties, more souvenirs. Okay, now we're in the inside portion, but I wanted to show you guys this. <gasps> Do you guys know this? This here is called plastic balloon. <laughs> it's a very Filipino, actually I think it's a very Asian thing. It's basically this little jelly that you put on a little straw and you blow it up and it can it's a balloon that you can play with. And I just remember it smelling so chemical-ish. It smells like chemicals and it smells good. I actually have a tutorial on plastic balloon on this channel. Check it out. If there's a hole, it does not pop and it still survives. Oh my goodness, pogs. Wow, that's a throwback for real. Right? Oh my, look at all these really tiny toys. <gasps> wow. And you can buy like bags of this stuff. Look at like insects and creepy ants. crawlies. Yeah. Have ants there. Of course they've got ants. They've got a there. Awesome. See, look at all those bugs and interesting stuff. Little tiny kettles. <laughs> How cute. Fake money. Seriously, why would I need a spoon this small? <laughs> oh wow, look at these crossbows. <gasps> wow, bow and arrow. Amazing. So while RJ and Ate LC are going to go shop, I'm just gonna man the station for a bit because I'm tired. Now it should be noted that although we come here and we talk about making tawad, bargaining, um, and like really lowering the price, the stuff here is already very affordable. And so if the vendors choose not to take up our offer, we usually still end up buying the stuff because at least, you know, we're supporting local entrepreneurship, right? You're supporting local business. These people come here and they work hard every single day to make ends meet and sell, you know, their stock. And a lot of these workers aren't actually the owners of these little stations. They're just hired. Um, and they're not paid very high, to be honest. So yeah, as much as possible, RJ and I come here and we we prefer to buy here over, say, your regular commercial establishment. Because it helps. It helps fellow Filipinos. Hello. Hi. Anong pangalan mo? I'm Joseph. Joseph? Oh, mabuhay squad meet Joseph. Ilang taon ka na? Seven? Wow! Anong kula yung buhok mo? Brown! He dyed his hair! <laughs> Do you go to school? Great two! Great two! Yay! See, he speaks English! Very good! Oh my gosh, here's where the language barrier comes in, guys. Yesterday I was speaking like a three year old. He can speak better Tagalog than I can. <gasps> what? They sell this here? <gasps> My boy squad, check this out!